Hello beautiful people. Today we are going to look at the beautiful Orset Egyptian Oracle cards that are by Elizabeth Jensen and illustrated by Marie Clement. This is a really beautiful deck that I myself have worked with for quite a few years and I'm really pleased to be able to present this deck to you. Uh, Elizabeth is the same author that did the Lakshmi deck which I have already reviewed previously. Uh, but this deck actually had come out a couple of years prior to the Lakshmi deck. So do check out the Lakshmi deck if you haven't already, uh, as that is also a really lovely deck uh, as well to explore. So um, this deck is, of course, focused around the Egyptian divinities and Egyptian energies. So let's check out our guidebook first. Now we have the acknowledgements at the beginning, uh, a lovely little introduction uh, where Elizabeth introduces the concepts of uh, what happened in ancient Egyptian, how decisions were made using a time of contemplation and divination uh, and a little about her Isis mystery school. Uh, of course, how to use the cards. So uh, how to connect with them and those types of things. Plus she speaks a bit about if you're going to use it for one card readings, three card spread, and also there's a seven card spread as well, which I do find personally, if you're looking um, for a timing reading, then the seven card spread is a good one to fall back on. Not just with this deck, but I find it good with lots of uh, readings and decks. And then she talks a little about uh, the oracle readings and alchemy before she dives into each and every card. Now, each card has a minimum of two pages. So there's a little bit about the actual divinity that is depicted on the card itself. And then we also have a channeled message that comes through from each one of the energies depicted, as well as this is an aspect Elizabeth does for both of her card decks. She splits up the card meaning so that you've got, if it come, if you are asking a question around abundance or love, work or career, travel, health, family or future, she's specific about if this card has come up and you are asking around this particular topic, here's what your answer would be. And that's something I haven't really seen in any other decks aside from Elizabeth. So a wonderful, unique uh, aspect to her deck which makes it, um, I think, you know, even more uh, accurate in the information that it's bringing through as well. Now, it is a black and white guide book, so uh, not quite as pretty as some of the others, as you might see, but definitely you still have the card image there, so you know exactly that you are at the right card. Uh, it's all very easy to find which cards that you're looking for as well so, and that's it all the way through the guidebook there so we'll check out these beautiful cards as well 44 cards it's a nice size not too big card card deck so I find it's a really good size for shuffling and handling and all those things not one of those oversized ones uh, the back is really lovely with the blue lotus on the back and some of the Egyptian hieroglyphs really pretty uh, if you ever saw the original version of this deck it's like this is much more elevated in its uh, elegance um, and how pretty this deck definitely is and more information that she's brought through because there's more cards as well uh, with this one. So we'll just do a little card shuffle, check everybody out. So all of your major divinities are definitely depicted, plus there is a bunch that you may not have heard of uh, before. And so it's really great that in the guidebook there is actually some information about those particular divinities and of course the channeled message uh, so some direct guidance from them to give you a real sense of them and their kind of energy um, and how they work beautiful colors and elizabeth was always very big on doing lots of research for her decks 
So I definitely trust the information that's in this deck about each of the energies and how things were back in ancient Egypt. Um, so really beautiful deck, beautifully researched, uh, wonderful guidance, great messages. And as I said, I really enjoy the aspect that she's broken up every single card into those different areas. So you could um, get some accurate information quite quickly around whatever it is that you have asked. And of course, use your intuition with this deck as well. You don't need to rely on those specific messages. Once you've worked with the deck for a little bit, you definitely get a good sense uh, to be able to read intuitively for yourself. And I do find it as a fabulous deck for adding to your altar, for spells when you're working with certain divinities and energies, or for manifesting and for that sort of work as well. So really great. Uh, really great versatile deck for your meditations all those sorts of things really wonderful so have you read with this deck yourself do you already have it I would love to hear in the comments if you have this deck if you love working with this deck like I do please do comment below and let me know or just let me know what you think with having a flip through how lovely you think the cards are um, don't forget if you're looking for a deck like this one or any other oracle tarot deck or even other spiritual tools mystical dragon has both an e-store and an in-person store uh, you can find our e-store at our website mysticaldragon.com.au or you can pop in and see us in person we are in Seaford which is in Victoria Australia so do check us out and pop in and visit us say g'day uh, and I look forward to being able to present you with a new uh, Oracle review really soon.